the way the way you went about it um, with such abandon and reminded us that you know we can't make mistakes it's just all fun yeah but I'm so tight and as a beginner and I really needed just the flourish that you brought and the encouragement that you brought so thank you so glad you're here we're happy to be here. Here we are getting ready with the lovely Ecolina. Art buffet set up for everybody. They're, they're scrambling to grab as much of the liquid watercolor as they possibly can. There was a fight that broke out earlier. <laughs> little hair pulling. But now the hair pulling it got ugly. Campus police had to come in. We're getting our station set up. Oh, look, these guys are ready to go. Well, they are all ready to go. Let's see. So, w why the why these watercolors are fun is because they're liquid, and that changes the entire the t entire idea of how to, how to work. And that's what I really love about it. So, I'm going to do a couple different surface things, show you some stuff, and then you guys can do it yourself. Now, you can either pour. Let's do a little pour water on here. Let's mm -hmm. pour that on there. And then let's put that water around. And how I start a lot of mine is with the charcoal or the soft pastel or something. So I might just do this. Don't look at it. Do something. All right, I'm not looking at you. All right, so there we get something. All right, just to just get yourself going. Don't, don't, don't fiddle with it. <laughs> don't look. All right, so that's how we're going to start. If you wouldn't mind. And then the fun thing is what happens. So, you take this and you just use your pipette that you have, and you can drop that in there. <laughs> don't putz around. And then we have the gouache. So this is fun. Now this is over here where it's dry, right? You have a little gouache, and then you can do some really neat techniques with the gouache. I really like that. And then you can always come back in and you can do a different techniques like blotting. That's almost a stamping technique, right? Now we're moving the material around to create more. You can go crazy. You can even then take. No, I did that. This is the Echolina in little sample packs that we put together, and some white gouache from Royal Talents and palette knives from Royal Talents. And she says that she's dancing. I agree, that's some really great stuff. Love it. And now you're gonna see when you pull the Rembrandt soft pastel through it, it's gonna be much more creamy. There you go. Look at these people creating without fear. This is awesome. Doing some glazing techniques in a matter of speaking. Never had enough um, Susie built up the, the white gouache over her piece and then she just pulled some of the Echolina using a big palette knife over the top of it. And that's what I wanted to show you and why I love working with the white gouache. It creates another surface for you that you can then build upon. And that's just beautiful. Good job, Susie. How's Edna doing over here? I have Ooh, one, that's, right. one that is completed. Mm -hmm. half, just, just half oh. is just fine. Just half I need work on yeah, yeah, so I can yeah. frame that. Successful class. Hey everybody, did you have fun today? We had a blast in the workshop today. They made some incredible art. Some people are running home already to make more because we only had so much paper available. <laughs>